It was a day of drama at Oakleview too. Sunrar took the lead after 10 minutes through Tommy Sloan. And their fans were cheering once again 60 seconds later when Kenny Brannigan made it 2-0. Within a minute though, Tom Steele pulled one back for Stenhouse Muir, but with Clyde and Brecon drawing at half-time, Strunrar were in the driving seat. Midway through the second half, Stenhouse Muir levelled it at 2-2, John Irvin scoring and things didn't look too good. But Graham Duncan scored from the penalty spot in the 74th minute and the promotion dream was on again. Ferguson then made it 4-2 to Strunrar with nine minutes remaining. And a minute from time, Grant rounded it all off in some style. What a result for Strunrar, 5-2. When the full-time whistle went, the Strunrar fans and players, believing that Brecon had dropped a point, thought their team was first division bound. News hadn't filtered through of Brecon's late winner and the celebrations at Oakleview were well underway. Fans and players were really enjoying the occasion. Champagne corks were popping too when over the tannoy came the news Brecon had beaten Clyde. Disaster for Strunrar but there was still applause for the players who returned the compliments but then left dejected for the dressing room. Good old Strunner.